What's up guys, I am back. I was in Vegas for a short trip and then when I got home I had a, a bunch of work to get caught up on but um, I'm pretty much freed up now so I could continue making videos and for today's video I want to teach you guys how you can take better quality images with your drone uh, and specifically with your Mavic Pro for this video. Now the Mavic Pro takes a 12 megapixel picture and I was shooting this image during the day, so I was at ISO 100, so the quality of the image is still pretty good. But if we zoom in and pixel peep a little bit here, uh, I increase my noise reduction, uh, you can see there's a lot of color noise, which you could eliminate some of it in Lightroom, but it's still relatively grainy. And uh, if I wanted to blow this picture up, uh, be, it, it's not gonna look too pretty. So the stacking method that I've used in other videos, I'm actually gonna use it on my Mavic Pro still images. And that way I can interpolate the image and increase the resolution a little bit. And also just reduce a lot of the noise and graininess that you get from a single image. So what you gotta do is put your camera, uh, your Mavic Pro camera in burst mode, which could be three pictures, five or seven. Now in my case, I picked seven and I took two sets of seven for the shot. Now, here they all are. And what you wanna do is select all the pictures. Uh, these two are my final product. I just kind of skipped ahead with that just because uh, when I'm filming, the screen, it tends to bog down my computer. So we'll get to those in a minute. So you got your, your images that you're gonna stack. And what you wanna do is go to photo, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Now I already have the, the photos here ready to go. Uh, so the next thing you wanna do is select them all and go to edit, auto align layers. And just leave this on auto and hit okay. We're shooting from a drone, so you're definitely gonna get shake, especially if it's a little windy out. Uh, so you need to auto align all your images. Now with this stacking method, uh, one thing to consider is if you're photographing something with a lot of movement, like water, or uh, if it's the clouds are moving very fast that day, um, you might, you're gonna have a little bit of motion blur with anything that has movement to it. You may like it for the water. Um, you might not like it if, let's say the trees are blowing too fast, that could ruin the picture. So the stacking method may not work too well for that. Just something to keep in mind. Okay, so it auto aligned our layers. Let's just zoom in. And you could check them by toggling the little ice icon right here and uh, see if they shift off. But I trust this is in alignment as I did a couple tests earlier. Next thing you want to do is select all those layers again and convert them to a smart object. All right, so once you have your smart object ready, I'm gonna make a copy just so I can show you a before and after. Um, so you wanna take your smart object, go to layer, smart objects, stack mode, mean. This is gonna average all those images together to get a cleaner and less noisy image. This works really well if you are using a higher ISO but even with ISO 100, this will still get rid of a lot of that color noise and I could actually increase the quality of the image slightly. So once we've done that, you zoom in here and you can see a lot of the noise is gone. I'll show you, compare, this is, the, this is one image and this is the stack. Now it did soften my image a little bit, so I'm actually going to use a smart sharpen on this and because there's virtually no noise in it I could sharpen it pretty heavily so let's go to smart sharpen and I'm going to increase this you don't want to go too much because you don't want to introduce uh, noise or graininess back into it but let's go around 200 And we could toggle the preview off so you can see what's being changed. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. 
hit OK. So now we can see one image versus stacked images. Now the effect isn't that dramatic because like I said, I was using ISO 100, but if you had a lot more noise in your shadows, uh, this would help you out greatly. This was midday, so the sun was up and I had really good lighting. This technique will work even better when the lighting's uh, a lot dimmer, um, so definitely try it out. Now the next thing I wanna do, just flatten this and then we could increase the size of this if you want to sell or print a larger image by going to image image size and we could double this percentage all right and then just hit file save which i already did this and i'm going to show you a comparison between a single image versus the stacked image at double the resolution and yes it's interpolate it's interpolated so it's not like a true 24 megapixel image but this is definitely a great technique if you have to increase the size and you want the best quality out of that that picture that you took so i'm going to select these two images right here one's a single raw the other is a stacked raw and we're going to compare them and these have both been interpolated at 200% uh, so you could see the difference. So we're comparing these and I'm gonna zoom in a lot just so you could really see the difference. Most of it was in the shadow area. So this is at two to one and you could see how much noise is here. Uh, this, whatever this little thing is in the field, um, you can actually make out that it's a, you know, more definition. Um, so it increased the sharpness by doing the stacking method. Let's keep on scrolling. Just everything overall uh, is more crisp and uh, you could definitely get away with printing this much larger now and not worrying about the image breaking down and, and producing a very grainy and noisy picture. You can see the definition and you know, this is a dirt road. So there's really, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing image, but just for a comparison, you could see how much more clarity you have in this road. You, know, you see how soft this is and it's just just much better guys I think uh, this will help you out greatly you know if you're like me and you're a little disappointed that you only had 12 megapixels in your drone um, this is a great way to increase the size of your pictures okay guys so I want to show you another method you could use to increase the megapixels and quality of your Mavic Pro drone images now, this is a panorama made of four stitched images. Uh, basically, I put my camera in portrait mode like you see here. Took a shot, rotated it, took the next shot, rotated it, and so on. Now, you see a lot of pictures here, and that's because I combined the stacking technique with a panorama technique. Now, yes, this is more steps, but the quality difference is fantastic. Um, so I took a burst of seven images, as you see here, and then I took those seven images and stacked them, just like we did with the first part of this tutorial. Um, then I took the next seven images, again, I stacked them, and you gotta stack them all separately. And once you're done, you you know I save out as a TIFF. I had an issue, uh, I was in an error when I tried to uh, take all my TIFFs and make a panorama from them. So I ended up exporting these TIFF files as JPEGs and then I brought them back into Lightroom and it allowed me to create a stacked panorama that we have here. Um, just follow the same exact steps from the beginning of this tutorial 
And let me just show you the difference that you could get from a single shot panorama versus a stacked shot panorama. Also, the stacked version is um, a lot larger than I interpolated to make it bigger to increase the size of it. So um, I have to, I can't compare them equally. I have to zoom in on the other one that's not as large to make them equal. So this is the stacked image at one to one. And you can see how, let's go up to the sky. It's pretty clean. Um, it's much larger than the other image. If I make the non-stacked version equal in size, you can see the difference. Let me go to the rooftop actually. Really zoom in on this. Okay, so they're almost equal in size now. The single stack is, I'll put this up. This is at eight to one. And this is at four to one. Now my stacked image, you can see how much better the quality is in, in the windows, in the roof. You can actually start to make out some lines in the shingles. Um, the shingles on the single uh, panorama, you can just see it just looks all pixelated. If I scroll around here, yeah, you can see a decent amount of noise. And yes, I'm pixel peeping, so I'm extremely zoomed in. But this is how great it is when you stack. You could increase, you can enlarge the size of your image. You could print bigger images and not have to worry about it falling apart. You know, you could even see in these bushes right here, um, they're a little softer, but they're a lot cleaner. Over here, they just look like mush, you know? So. I definitely think you guys should try out stacking. Um, I pretty much use it for all my photography now, and I was just so happy that I could translate it into um, my drone footage, my drone pictures, because you know I was like I said I was very disappointed about the 12 megapixels, and this is a great way to get more uh, megapixels out of your drone cameras. So try it out. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to try and pump out some more videos soon. Take care. Bye-bye.